308 number 14. It doesn't give you the label. They probably don't didn't have permission to re, uh, reproduce the label on here. So a physician orders Prozac, which is fluoxetine liquid, 40 milligrams POQAM. I love new markers, but I cannot get the caps off. Okay. And my stock available is fluoxetine oral solution, 20 milligrams per 5 ml. The stock, 20 milligrams per 5 ml. And then the question is, how many days should 100 milliliters of medication last? And in order to know that, we need to know how many milliliters for each dose and how many doses per day, right? So when you're figuring out day supply, you have to know the maximum amount they would take in a day. So you need to know how many mLs per dose and how many doses per day. Now these directions say 40 milligrams by mouth every morning. So they're only getting one dose a day, but how many milliliters are this dose? So we have five mLs, contains 20 milligrams, and our dose is 40 milligrams. And that's per day, because they're only getting that once a day. Five times 40, five times four is 20. 200. Divided by 20. 10. So they're getting 10 mLs per day, right? And that's also just one dose. 10 mLs per dose, one dose a day, 10 mLs per day. Now the stock bottle is 120 milliliters, right? So our total amount is 120 milliliters, and the maximum amount they would take in a day is 10 mLs per day. 120 divided by 10 is 12 days. Very good. I heard that from somebody there. So how many days should this medication last? 12 days. And then write the directions as they should appear on the customer's bottle. 10 mLs. Are we going to tell them to measure out 10 mLs? We could because um, this is probably an adult, this dosage is an adult dosage. Um, so we could give them something that measures 20 mLs, um, but if they didn't have that, how many, what would we tell them in household measurements? Teaspoons. Teaspoons or tablespoons, exactly. Now, we could go with tablespoons, um, No, two teaspoons, I guess. Yeah, you, you would have to do two-thirds of a teaspoon because a teaspoon is 15 mLs, so that'd be two-thirds. So it'd probably be easier to do two teaspoons, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to tell them, take, you have to have a verb, two teaspoons full by mouth. And what is this part, QAM? Every morning. Every, Every morning. morning, very good. So that's the directions that should appear on the customer's bottle. We're going to put a 12-day supply in the computer, and then um, they can refill it after 12 days. Or let's say that we were going to give them a one-month supply, and this isn't in your book. It's not a question in your book. How many bottles would they need for a one-month supply? How long would two bottles last? 24 days. 24 days. 12 times so 2 is 24. So, yeah, they would need three bottles to last for a month, and then they'll have some left over, right? Okay. So, very good, you guys. All right, anybody have any questions so far? No. 